Hello everybody, so I am back with another video. Today I wanted to show you how I'm gonna set up my new studio. As I mentioned in an interview with uh, Mike Delgadio, who is, has a Booth Junkie channel on YouTube, he, I was talking to him that I, and, and telling him during our interview that I will be moving and changing from a bedroom studio, which was about 10 feet by 12 feet, and moving to an apartment which has a closet which is probably meant for coats and things like that at the entrance of my apartment and that is about four feet by four feet so in this video I want to show you how I'm taking my sound treatment and all the equipment that I had in the bedroom studio and moving that into a smaller space to try to make it have a, a professional sound so that I can record and work from home um, I'm really actually happy with this space I, I now that I've moved in, I realize what a nice space it is and comfortable. It's probably about the same size as a whisper room or something like that in a quiet area. Um, and I have some good treatment, which I used for the whole bedroom. So I'm thinking that if I had enough treatment for the bedroom, I can put it into, a, into the closet in a nice way to get a nice sound. As I was talking to Mike Delgadio in, in the interview, The Murph Show, which I'll link below, he was telling me how he recommends um, and how he treated his wisp room and how he would recommend I treat my my uh, closet studio is to have you have four walls obviously so he would say parallel walls should have a differing amount of treatment on one side you should have um, a lot of treatment and you really want to kill that sound and on the other side you still want to have treatment on the parallel wall you want to have treatment but not as much treatment because you don't want the sound to die as soon as it hits the wall. You want it to bounce off a wall that's treated but a little bit live still and then when it goes to the opposite wall you want it to die. So he was telling me that the problem with a lot of um, recording spaces is that they try to kill every wall and then it just has a really dead sound. So he said leave, leave one of the walls lightly treated and the other one a lot more treated with panels and sheets which I'll show you um, from that I have from um, Audimute.com, so that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'll show you the process. I'll speed it up so that you can see me working in the in the space, and then I'll talk about what I did afterwards, and I'll have kind of a a sound check before and after treating. So here is all of the stuff that I have for the studio: all the treatment, the microphone, and all of my equipment that I have laid out on the living room floor. The apartment's still a little mess because we just moved in, but so this is everything on the floor. This is my Focusrite um, audio interface, my headphones, my microphone arm. Um, here is my music stand, which I'll probably put an iPad on or uh, something where I can read the copy or the text without bringing a laptop in. I'm going to try to avoid bringing the laptop into the closet. Here are eight sound panels from um, audimute.com um, they are two inch two by two foot two feet by four feet uh, two inch thick sound panels and here are I think they're called isolate or iso I'm not sure iso sheets or something like that but they are basically each of these three three sheets weighs 20 pounds so that's 60 pounds of mass to try to uh, deaden the sound in the closet especially since it's a small space that I have to work with, or relatively small, it's about four feet by four feet. Um, so I'll put these on at least two walls. I, might, I don't know if I'll use all three, but um, I'll try to really deaden the sound on two of the walls, and then I'll try to use these to go on top of the sheets and on the opposing walls, so that they'll be um, parallel walls. One will be really well treated, and one will be a little bit less well treated. Here is the microphone, my Neumann TLM-103, um, and the boom, I'm sorry, the uh, shock mount, and then here is my computer that I'll do my editing on, and some sound blankets, I'll probably, I mean, some um, moving blankets, which I'll probably put on the floor uh, to treat the floor a little bit. So this is what I have before going into the studio. Everything is outside and just have an empty closet. So behind this beautiful doorknob, is my new home studio. Let's take a look inside. And there it is. Nothing is in there yet. But um, here is the empty studio space. It's a hardwood floor. It's about four feet by four feet. 
um, just plain walls. I had to take some of the cabinets out so that I could treat it. I'm thinking of having the microphone here. You can see the sound got really different and it's not so great right now. But here is the studio and I will show you how it sounds before treating it and then afterwards. So it's about four by four, um, about eight, eight feet tall ceilings. So it's actually a pretty nice space. I fit really comfortably and I can move around and record pretty comfortably. So here's what I have so far. I have the sound sheets. I have one sound sheet actually on the floor, which I'll step on. And then I have um, two of them here on each on the corner walls opposite my microphone. Then I have some panels. Sorry, it's hard to see. Set up some panels here. Set up two right here, and that's where my microphone is going to be. Um, so I'll be standing right here if you can see me and recording from here um this might be a little low but i'll record here and it's sounding better i'm not quite done yet but it's getting there all right here it is i am done setting up the studio let's take a look inside here it is so as you can see i have my microphone set up in this corner I'm sorry it's a little dark um, have it with the arm right there attached to the wall and then I have my music stand here with my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 right here on the music stand and then I'll put the laptop right next to it. It didn't sound too bad actually. So I have panels on sorry about that, panels on this wall and panels a panel here when the door is closed. Um, and then this wall is, these two walls are more heavily treated. So behind these four panels, and there's my headphone, behind these four panels I have um, the audio mute sheet hanging up. You can kind of see it behind there. Um, so I have the audio mute sheet and then I have the panels in front of that. And then I also have the panels here too. You can see up here I have the panel hanging up there and then another sheet hanging up here. I also actually have um, a sheet on the floor which actually turned out to be nice. Um, instead of a moving blanket this gives it a little bit better sound. So that is my studio setup and now um, to finish the video I will show you the before audio or let you listen to the before audio and the after audio and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for checking out my new closet home studio I really look forward to hearing what you guys think in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see me progress in my business and use this studio to make jobs and to get jobs and uh, do some more voiceover work. All right. See you next time. OK, so here is the sound of the closet studio with no treatment at all. I just have my microphone, my audio interface, a music stand and my laptop. So there's no sound panels or sound sheets at all. It's just me in an empty closet with the door closed um, and so hopefully you'll be able to hear that this is pretty echoey it doesn't sound very good the sound is bouncing back and forth all over the walls so let me treat it and then I will show you how it sounds or let you listen to how it sounds after I treat it and hopefully it will have a nice professional sound and be ready to work and now here is the closet studio after I've treated it there's still no effect. I'm not putting effect. I don't even have a pop filter, but hopefully it will sound a lot better. I have all eight of my sound panels and all three of my um, audio mute sheets. Um, so there is a lot of treatment in here. 
I am open to criticism, but I think it sounds pretty good. But let me know if you guys hear something that or have a recommendation uh, of things that I can change. Um, but for right now, I think this is pretty good. I'll do a, an analysis of the audio after I finish recording, and I will put that up on the YouTube video. Thank <laughs> you.